Welcome to this module about citizens co-creating urban food systems and green space. Up until now you have come across many different forms of co-creation, but we would argue that food and green are the themes that citizens are most passionate about. And I hope that by the end of this module you will agree. In the module you will learn about the importance of soliciting citizens' views and the ways in which they can be engaged. We will first have a look at the various ways in which citizens engage in co-creating food systems. Food has become a global priority, and we are observing a trend towards increased consumer involvement in food systems. Health, safety and environmental concerns are driving citizens to seek alternatives to the dominant global food complex. To learn more about the role of citizens in food system transformations, we will travel to Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam. Here we will demonstrate how the food system is both implicitly and explicitly co-produced by its citizens. In Hanoi, you will encounter a context of food safety, risks and concerns. Public, pu public policies intended to direct consumer behavior towards modern supermarkets have limited impact or may even cause unwanted effects, such as the emergence of unhygienic and illegal street markets. You will learn that the interaction between food retail infrastructure and human behavior is important for sustainability transitions, but also very complex. For a policy to effectively govern this interaction, it should tend to the everyday life of Hanoi citizens. They continuously co-create the food system by their practices and routines of food consumption. Next, we will explore more deliberate, designed forms of co-creation for food in Hanoi. With Western-style supermarkets not fitting the Vietnamese culture, local small and medium-sized enterprises seek innovative alternatives that consider local preferences. We will show a co-creation method that was specifically designed to fit the cultural context of Vietnam. It aims to unlock the creative potential of local small and medium-sized businesses and their customers in defining contextualized solutions for food sustainability issues. In the second part of this module, we will take on the citizen engagement in the co-creation of urban green space. With progressive urbanization, less public space is available for multiple and divergent purposes, amplified by the trend towards producing food in cities. As a result, competition for urban space poses dilemmas for urban planners. Using illustrative examples from the Netherlands, we will demonstrate how processes of co-creation are providing alternatives to the dominant governance approaches. We will show how spatial transformations are being approached through new alliances engaging citizens. But first we will provide insight into the shifts in the governance of land users over the past decades. We will discuss why and in what capacity citizens are increasingly being involved in urban land use planning and management. We will then zoom in on the illustrative case of Dak Park Rotterdam. Here we explore how citizen engagement in the management of urban green space can be institutionalized through contractual collaboration between public actors and citizen associations. As a result, Citizen associations can be said to collaborate with other urban stakeholders in a structural way. However, decisions on the use of land and its management can never serve the interest of all stakeholders. Governance of urban space entails dealing with divergent values and ideas among stakeholders. Conflicting views are not easily resolved with bottom-up planning. But an example from Groningen provides insights into how structured approaches can enable finding solutions for possibly conflicting views. You will see that the pre-existing competition for green space in urban areas is intensified by the progression of food production within the city boundaries. Food is a new dimension to urban planning and the governance of the scarce green urban space is increasingly critical. Instead of a top-down approach to urban planning, co-creation projects give citizens, public actors and the private sector a voice in the design and management of urban food and green space. Moreover, this can create a communal sense of ownership and responsibility. 
So let's get started with this module in which you will meet citizens around the globe who are eager to co-create urban food and green initiatives, whether they are implicitly or more explicitly engaged. You will find that citizens are key players in the transformation of urban food and green space. They can't be overlooked because urban food and green have a direct impact on their lives. <laughs>